365 days, 365 messages God has in store for us in each day. You've got mail from God, written by Edgar Redondo Ramirez. Come and join us. Let us see what God has in store for us. Today is April 8, 2022. The title for this devotional is, Hallowed Be Your Name. The scripture reading can be found in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. And it says, In this manner, therefore pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us life this morning. Thank you for waking us up and enabling us to listen to your word. I ask that you continue to bless and guide us as we go through this day. In your name we pray. Amen. God is holy. Therefore, his name is also holy. That means I do not make God's name holy when I pray. Hallowed be your name. So why did Jesus include that phrase in his model prayer? Well, when we mention it, we are simply asking God that he himself be the one who sanctifies his name, as he promised he would. And I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned in their midst. And the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when I am hallowed in you before their eyes. God shows his holiness to the world through the wonders he does for us. First, he calls us out and rescues us from the world of sin. Then he justifies us. And finally, he sanctifies us. That's how he glorifies his name before the universe. On the other hand, as his children, we show his greatness and the holiness of his name when we give testimony of his work in our lives. When we trust him in the midst of all of life's hardship and when we face daily challenges in his name. So when we begin the Lord's Prayer by asking God to hallow his name, we simply tell him, Show your greatness. Let us see your love and kindness towards us. Display to the world your willingness to bless your people. Maria Leonza faithfully and devoutly practice witchcraft and all sorts of magic rituals. She worked for a Colombian cartel. Her predictions and advice were so accurate that the drug lords did not move a finger without her consent. She pointed out the best roads and dates for moving drugs from one place to another. But one day she failed, and the authorities found and confiscated their cargo. The incident made her go from glory to hell. The shipment owners took all of their frustration out on her. She was raped, nearly killed, and imprisoned as a result of her actions. Due to her capture's carelessness, she was able to escape and ask for help at an Adventist church in the neighborhood. She was cared for and cured by some of the church's sisters who hid her until the danger was over. During the time she was sheltered at the church, she was able to listen to the preaching, singing, and praying. It touched her heart, and she asked for a Bible, which she read while staying there. As a result, she decided to give up her practice and ask to be baptized. Today, she tells how God changed her life and shared with others her knowledge of the God whose name is holy and make us holy. Today, God says, Live according to my name. I chose you and I want to show you my power and the holiness of my name through your life. Amen.